So in this video, we're going to be sketching linear equations using the x and y intercept method. Now, some lessons you learn and you can just forget about them after you've learned them. But this lesson is super important because while we're going to be sketching linear equations, equations that look like that, eventually I'm going to teach you some other equations as well. Things like quadratics, things called cubics, things called exponential functions, things called logarithmic functions, and things called trigonometric functions. Now, all of these use a variation of the x and y intercept method, and you're going to learn how to sketch all of them eventually. So learning the x and y intercept method for these straight lines, which is relatively straightforward, is going to set you up later when you're sketching all of that rubbish. Now, thankfully, this is a really straightforward method. So we're trying to find the x and the y intercept. Now, this is a small sentence that you're going to have to remember if you want to be able to sketch all of these different graphs that I've talked about. Find the x-intercept, let y equal 0. This phrase here is super important. If you ever want to find the x-intercept, you let y equal 0. And the other phrase you need to learn is find the y-intercept, let x equal 0. Zero. So these two sentences are really, really important, and they'll help you sketch most lines. There are some lines where these aren't very useful, but we'll come to that in another video. So find x-intercept, let y equal zero. We do exactly what we've written. To find the x-intercept, we let y equal zero. So wherever we see y in the equation, we just make it zero. So 3x plus 2 times 0 equals 4. 2 times 0 is 0, so we're left with just 3x equals 4, which means that x equals 4 over 3. That is our x-intercept. That's what the sentence says, find x-intercept. Find the y-intercept, let x equal 0. Again, we do exactly what it says on the tin. 3 times 0 plus 2y equals 4. 3 times 0 is 0. We're left with 2y equals 4 which means that y equals 4 divided by 2, which is 2. We have a y-intercept. And so now all that's left to do is to sketch this thing. So we know that the x-intercept is 4 over 3, which is about 1.33. All right, so I'll make this a 1, I'll make this a 2, and this mark right here is going to be 4 thirds. And I'll just write 4 thirds there. All right, this one here, y equals 2. Okay, so y-intercept, 1, 2, right there, and I'll just mark that with the number 2. And now that I have one point here and one point here, I get my ruler out, and I draw that line through those two points. Arrow, arrow, going off into space in both directions. That's really all there is to the x and y intercept method. Now, I just want to take a moment to explain why these sentences exist, right? So, to find the x-intercept, let y equal 0. Why does that work? Well, the x-intercept of this line is literally the point when y equals 0. You can see, we come down here, when we're there, on the y-axis, we're at y equals 0. And similarly, find the y-intercept, let x equal 0. Why does that work? Because at that point here, at that y-intercept, if we move along our x-axis, the y-intercept is where x equals 0. That's why these sentences work. If you remember these sentences for this and all of those equations that I talked about moving forward, you can't have too much trouble.